Well, I thought you just might like to see me get my first horses on the carriage. Um, they had to go down on these little pieces and then I have to put these little pieces on to keep them from coming off. Okay, one more. Oh dear, I just put paint there. Okay. Goes, oops, it goes long ways. <sighs> well, I can't get that on right now because that paint is wet. Well, I've got it going the right way. Okay. Okay. That sets on. There. Okay, what's next? Let me sit it off my where is that paint? Have I turned it over somewhere? Oh boy, I think I put I put the brown top on the yellow paint. Oh, that's not good. Oh boy. All right, you go in here, and you. Oh gosh, I made a mess. But that's what I do. I make messes all the time. Okay. All cleaned up. Usually it's not fatal. Uh -huh. Okay, so I've got two more of those. They must go on the other two horses. So I got those on and that down. Now, oh, I see what I've got to do. I've got, to, I hadn't done this. When, was, when did they tell me to do this? It must be, I gotta go back. Okay. I've got to go back to here to make sure I do this right. I have two horses. All right, he goes on this side. This goes in. That, no. That down? That's what it says. Down. Okay, we're gonna wax you before I try to put you in. Okay, so this down. I'm gonna open it was up. This is where it just gets really exasperating. <gasps> See, I broke it. Well, you saw it. And guess what? I have wood glue. So that's gonna take me a bit. Oh man, I these are so, so oh, breakable. Anyway, I've gotta get my wood glue. Yeah, that'll go right back in and I'll have to let it dry for some hours, but it will go, it will go back. 
<sighs> well, it's not a moving part, so it's not fatal. I have had to glue many parts on this project because just like that, I push too hard and they break because I'm trying to get them in all the way. So guess what, folks? We're taking a break. <laughs> I get my toothpick. I get my Elmer's wood glue. I put a dab on the end of my toothpick, put it in the break and press it up and let it dry. And I'll have to leave it on here because I can't pull it back out. So anyway, maybe I'll let you see this. A little repair tricks. I have to get glued down. It came off. Okay, I need that to come off so I can get glue where I need it. Okay, so now I have the glue and clean off the toothpick so I could use it again. All right, so come here. And it's important that I get it at the right angle because it's got to go into the other horse. So I'm probably going to leave it sitting like this until it dries. Then I get a Q-tip and I wipe off excess glue. Okay, I think I got it. I'm gonna just keep checking it and make sure. All right, folks, it's gotta stay like that for some hours. Dang it, I still didn't get it all the way. <laughs> okay, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Put the top back on the glue. Thank you for wood glue. All right, so I really can't do any more because I messed that up. Or this horse will go on either side. I guess I could try to put this one in just in case I break it. <laughs> and I'll glue them both. Down. I see this one seems to be going in each. I just need to grab it down really close. <laughs> oh, see that one went right in which is supposed to do. Well, good morning. It is morning and it's been raining. It's about stopped, but I still hear drips on my tin roof. So I hope that's not distracting. Okay, well, yesterday I broke a piece and I glued it and it's, I got it by a miracle. I got it together. And so now I have, I have it all put together except for the people. I'm going to have Kate and William in the carriage and then the royal guard here in the back. So I still have to paint the people that go in here. So I thought for a minute I would show you what I'm doing. Oh, excuse me. 
Okay, I gotta bend this over. Okay, sorry about the adjustment, <clears throat> but I would like for you to see kind of what I'm doing. Okay, here's the two little, the Royal Guard people. Okay, and I'm going to paint their hats. They're actually, um, oh God, hang on. They're exactly, their they're uniforms exactly as the, almost as the riders on the horse. The jackets are the same. The pants are a little different and they have on little, uh, they have on little slippers or little shoes with the, looks like a gold brass uh, buckle and I'm sure they're black patent, and then the white socks and the white pants. Actually, I do the pants a little off-white so that the socks and the pants have a little distinction. Um, but their hats are just like, let me see. Their hats are black, just like on the guys riding the horses. I researched all this, by the way. There are pictures on the internet of a wedding and their ride in the carriage. So I got to see pictures of the carriage and the horses and the, and then when I get to painting Kate and William, I'm gonna look back at the pictures and try I'll do her in her wedding dress, of course. All right, let's see, his hat goes to there, and his hair. Okay, then I'll do the other side. Yes, these are the very English, English riding helmets, hats, whatever, I don't know if they're helmets. Okay, so I have one hat down and I have two so I'll do the other one.
Hello. I think I say that every time, but I have finally finished my little uh, <laughs> royal carriage. And it's turned out really great. I have a few little touch up paint jobs I'm still gonna do. But other than that, it's done. And there is William and Kate. Uh, let me turn it around so you can see her a little better. Where is she? There she is. She's got a tiara with glitter for diamonds. She has diamond earrings. I did her bouquet. It's down in her, whoops, I can't, I don't wanna. Anyhow, down in her, her dress is, uh, I used a pearl paint to make her dress look like satin or whatever. And her little bouquet is much like her bouquet, green and white flowers. So, turned out pretty cute. And another U Gears down the hatch. <laughs> Thanks for watching. If you did, please subscribe, like, share, and hit the notifications button if you want to get notifications when I put up new projects. Bye-bye. Thank you.